PSO that is all about the velocity. So I'm going to talk about um, the velocity campaign that is um, because velocity that is it has one big issue that is the explosion of the velocity which will cause the instability or instability of the PSO. Okay, so PSO we have different kind of velocity component. We have the iner inertia velocity. We have the so-so velocity as well as we have the um, connective velocity component. They control the exploration as well as expo exploitation according to different weight. And now the potential problem, as I mentioned, that for global best or for local best, and then velocity explosion, that is one big issue. That means when the velocity is large, is very large, and then the PSO does not work because it pushes the particle to boundaries. If we have boundaries, it, push, it pushes all particles to boundary. Without, if when it is without boundary, it pushes all the particle toward infinity. Yeah. So let's take a look at this. Uh, we lost the camping. That is one method. We are able to control the speed or control the velocity of the particle. So this is corresponding to x i the particle. We have the velocity. So velocity that is we have v i one, v i two, up to v i n x, v i n x. That is the number of decision variable in this particle. So this equation, uh, this formula, just to tell you that if any one of this velocity component, so j that is going from r1 to up to nx less than v max j, yeah. So this is a user defined value that is the maximum velocity we allow for each velocity component right here. So if each element right here that is less than v max, and then we just simply use the calculator vij nothing happen we just simply use it otherwise if it is more than v max and then we are go going to claim it so that means this is the maximum allowable um velocity so this is v prime ij that would be the actual velocity we use in the update that means when we have x i t plus one equals x i t plus v i t plus 1 corresponding to each component right here so we have v i 1 t plus 1 up to v i n x t plus 1 this one instead of using the one calculated from the local or the global pso we are going to use this v i prime yeah to right here so that we can we can control the maximum velocity now this expression actually it is in vector form we are talking about the magnitude or the direction in the next slide i'm going to show you what i'm talking about for example this is the current uh, position of xi and then so if we are going to use the local uh, we are going to use the pso velocity update view we mentioned in the beginning we compare v1 t plus 1 and v2 t plus 1 and then update that we will go to this position but according to what we have mentioned about this magnitude when we talk about magnitude that means it is the um it does not consider the direction that means the length of this vector that is more than v max and then we are going to cap it yeah so this is the v max the magnitude that is v max so this one is cap and then so that the resultant direction that would be this x i pi yeah so in that case that would cause a number of issue the first one that is we change the search direction this is the original one this original original one is built up by the historical information the personal best as well as the global or the local best but now when we perform the capping uh, perform the camping or to cap v2 
we change the direction. That means we destroy all the historical data. Yeah. And now another issue that is when the velocity reach the maximum. Say each time it meet, it reach the maximum, and then it just go to certain direction, and then that means it will just search the hypercrypt. Yeah. This so this is a two dimensional case. So you will just find out that when we use the PSO, it is very sensitive to the control parameter C1 and C2 Yeah, compared with genetic algorithm because when we do not choose the right parameter C1 and C2 and then this case will happen Yeah, just search a hypercube or cause instability and now I'm going to going back to this expression and then because this expression as I mentioned that uh, we interpret that using the vector way we are talking about the magnitude so that means if you are going to apply that I would suggest that uh, you are going to consider the negative as well so if say we I want the V max we choose that is um, 10 so that means if velocity the current velocity that is 5 that is less than 10 it is all right yes yeah? so we still keep the v prime ij to be 5 but now if it is um 15 that is not less than v max 10 and then now we are going to apply this condition that means v prime ij that would be 10 right here so this is the positive case and now I'm going to consider the negative case because what about we ij the current value that is minus 12 minus 12 the magnitude that is more than 10 so we have and actually when we implement that we will talk about if we ij t plus 1 now that is minus 12 less than minus we max j and then in that case this is minus 10 because v max that is 10 and minus 12 that is less than minus 10 so we are going to cap the velocity so v i j prime t plus 1 will become v max otherwise if the velocity that is more than minus 10 that is it does not exit the v max and then we are going to use v i j t plus 1 for example v i j that is minus but uh, say minus 5 and then this minus 5 that is not less than minus 10 and then we just simply use minus 5 as v i j prime t yeah so that is what i mentioned right here when v i j that is negative and then this condition will have to change accordingly yeah so this is otherwise now when we talk about the velocity camping the version right here that is not perfect and then because of if how do we deal with this case that is when we lost the which maximum and then it searched only the hypercrypt in order to deal with this problem and then so we are going to use the dynamic velocity approach yeah so that means we are going to change the v max accordingly so for example if the global bats position does not improve over tau consecutive iteration that means we are going to evaluate the global bats solution at iteration t and then compare that with the y t minus t prime t prime that is going from one to tau that means that is the the past tau consecutive iteration so if y hat that is larger than or equal to all the past global best solution um, for tau value and then we are going to implement that multiply gamma to v max gamma that is a linearly 
decreasing function or exponentially decreasing function from 1 to 0 0.1 yeah so this is linear decreasing 1 to 0 0 0.1 so this period the length right here that is the number of iteration we can choose the function to do that so that means that means we are going to reduce the Vmax and that because if the PSO is going to search the hypercube it means that this Vmax is not the best choice we are going to reduce the Vmax so that it search for the local minimum uh, I mean the local space otherwise if this condition does not map does not meet we keep the Vmax so this is the uh, one thing we can do and now also we can have another version exponentially decayed the maximum velocity so we can apply this formula this formula involve the current iteration number as well as a user defined value alpha that is greater than zero um, anti that is the maximum number of iteration for example if we are going to choose to run the algorithm the PSO algorithm for 1000 times and then anti that is 1000 so we max now that is depends on t so this is instead of using this method we can use this method to choose the we max and then so um, and velocity we are going to update the velocity according to this equation that means we can use the method one or method two to determine we max j t plus one so we have we max j t plus one in this formula and the numerator we have v prime ijt this value that is calculated from the update rule one the g, from the g bats or equation two the rule two from the local bats velocity so so that's why uh, when we use this formula we are able to alter the actual vij we use to update the position so we have x i t plus 1 equals x i t plus v i t plus 1 all the elements that is governed by this formula yeah and this one that is governed by v1 or v2 depending on which pso you are using inertial weight okay now that is another method this method that is more popular so we have the inertial weight that is mechanism the advantage that is we can control exploration and exploitation using the control parameter w we will see that later on and then the second advantage that is we do not need to do velocity camping yeah because this method or has already a method to control um, the growing of the velocity two versions g bats and local bats but actually the only difference is uh, the only parameter we introduce to this equation that is this w all the rest they are the same yeah so we are going to multiply w into vij and that this w must be greater than zero it can be greater than one or less than one so if it is more than one it means that we are going to magnify we are going to magnify vij we are going to um we are going to improve the exploration because the inertial velocity is will become higher when we change when we consider w less than one that means we are going to in favor of the exploitation because the velocity the inertial velocity that is smaller compared with the original one yeah so this is the original one this is the altered one yeah w it is not necessary to be constant yeah so of course we can choose a constant w or we can choose oh, w as a random number in each iteration for each particle we are going to generate a random w in the range of zero to one or using um the linear decreasing function so for this one that means w that is a linear function linear decreasing function this is the iteration axis this is the w so that means 
if you choose a high value of w in the beginning that means in the beginning we would like to have exploration and then near the end of the near the end of the iteration we are going to turn the explore exploration into exploitation uh, this one that is more or less the same instead of linear decreasing we are going to have a exponential decreasing yeah or nonlinear decreasing yeah 